the need for a PFD when you're out on the water is pretty obvious. I'm not going to talk about that. This other piece of gear is so totally simple. It's a piece of rope and it's going to do three things for you. It's going to be a stand-up assist rope, a flip rope to help you right the kayak, and a rescue ladder to help you get into it. Let me show you how to set this up on my new tandem kayak here. The first thing you need is a big carabiner. Don't get the small one, and I'll explain why later. But the challenge with this, of course, is attaching it someplace to the front of your kayak. This kayak came with a pad eye attached here, but it's not big enough for me to get this through. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rivet on a stainless steel pad eye up here in the front that will allow me to quickly insert and remove this if I need to. And that's the key. Whatever you attach it to has to be big enough to allow for rapid insertion and extraction because this is all about safety. So what I've done is I've drilled my pilot hole in this material. I've checked to make sure my rivet fits in there tightly. And so now I'm ready to go. I will attach this and rivet it on. In addition to giving myself a place to attach this carabiner, this also gives me an attachment point when I'm tying down the kayak to my truck. Okay, so you've got your carabiner, you attach your rope. Now the next step is to measure this rope to be appropriate for the first uh, application, which is as a stand-up assist rope. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay that out back to my seat and then give it a couple tries. In this kayak, I would put my feet about right here and it's comfortable to grab it right here and that elevates me up and more important it allows me to have a controlled descent back into the seat so I want to note this distance right here and I will mark that with a piece of tape the next measurement we need to take is to measure our flip line now of course if your kayak is easy to flip you can work your way up on top grab the handle and try and rotate it over but it's much easier to use a flip line and this is why we need a big carabiner because you're going to have to reach over here and hook it on and you don't want to have to mess with a small carabiner then it's going to go across and in the water with your pfd this is very easy you position yourself about like this and then you're going to pull and the kayak is going to flip over so the measurement i made right there with this tape is pretty good that's a good distance for me where I can keep my knees bent and pull this thing over. Now the final measurement we need to take is for once you get your kayak flipped, you need to get your rescue ladder to make it easy to get back in. And what we want to do, of course, is once you have your kayak righted, reach over here, quickly connect the carabiner, and now you're going to want to create a stirrup here that you could put your foot into to leverage your way up and over and back into the kayak. And I've got a great video that shows this in the water that I'll link up right here. So for right now on dry land, I know my rope is this long and I know that I'm gonna to wanna to have my knees bent about like this. So I need about 30 more inches from here to where I want the stirrup to be. And we can see that that's pretty much lined up with my initial measurement. So as long as I have my handle right here, I'll be good to go. Now, you need to have the handle on because it's a lot easier to get your foot through a loop in the bottom of this if you have the PVC spreading the rope for you. Settled with this, there's my measurement. It's inside the loop. I know I'm good. To check, I mark where this goes over. Now I'll stand up, put my foot in the stirrup, and you can see that I'm gonna have good leverage there to go up and over and onto the kayak. So you may have to fiddle with this a little bit, but eventually you'll get it right. So there you go, absolute critical piece of safety gear that a lot of people don't even think about. They know about the PFD, but not about the three uses for the rope. Comments? 
I encourage you to look at my other video. I'll link it up in the description and the pinned comment as well. Throw it down below. Thanks.